Hi. So I'm gonna be talking about The Will to Change, Man Masculinity, and Love by Bell Hooks. The Will to Change is about patriarchal culture and how it deprives boys and men of being their full selves and expressing love and how feminism can help kind of heal that fracture that is in society and happens to men and happens to boys as they're growing up. This book impacted me a lot. It made me think about how like my own experiences growing up and how I believe that patriarchy has affected my own life and expect affected my relationships with friends and family and how I've been treated but also how I feel like I may have treated other people especially especially women and even just like how I feel like I've treated my own mother or how I think about my mother it made me think about the things that I'm grateful for that in my relationship with my mother, but also the things that I feel like eh, that could have been changed. It's a book with 11 essays that all address how patriarchy like shortchanges men in being their full selves. I think it actually kind of delays our maturity, I think. I think it does do that. Whereas when, with women, they have better emotional intelligence. I, I'm, it almost makes me question that thought that women mature faster than men. That maybe the reason why men mature so much later than women is because patriarchy is kind of like stunting that growth as men grow older and they see through how patriarchy is affecting them they start meeting women at the point that they are in their own maturity and emotional intelligence and it takes time because they also still have to unlearn so much that they've learned growing up you're learning all this stuff that's like not really beneficial but you think it's the right way to go because people have taught you and tell you this is how it's supposed to be and this is how you're supposed to be a man and then it's like you start realizing like the way that you're teaching me how to be a man isn't fully benefiting my own life. So now I have to like combat that with actual love and emotional intelligence and not just like brute force and, and, and destruction. The, it basically addressed the issue of how patriarchy is affecting society. And she brings up this phrase imperialist, white supremacist, capitalist patriarchy, which she says describes our nation's political system so much of patriarchy and how imperialistic white supremacist like patriarchy is all just wrapped up in one it's a really nice 101 to start learning about feminism and patriarchy because i've never really learned about it so in-depthly like my knowledge and things i've kind of learned are from twitter threads and maybe a few articles here and there but this kind of really got in there a little bit more comprehensive but in just this very basic beginner's way of of understanding patriarchy and feminism i will say though it, it was interesting as a feminist that bell hooks is that she addresses women as females in this book a lot she does address men as males too but there are times when She'll say females and men. I don't know, because she's a feminist. She, I feel like as a woman, she would know better than I would how to address other women or how to address herself. It was just interesting. I had to change it in my head. When she said female, I would have to change it to women in my head very often. And I'd be like, okay, that's something, that's something I have to do with reading this book. And I think that's something other people would have to do if they are aware of this. But overall, I enjoyed this book. I've, I got a lot out of it. And I would implore other people to check it out and read it. Thank you for watching.